Hey, Happy New Year, everybody. It's uh, 2025. Uh, yet, it's fa fantastic to be in yet another new year and uh, be here in front uh, of the camera giving my predictions. Um, not surprisingly, uh, AI is sort of the buzzword that everybody has on the uh, tips of their tongues and it's going to now become the focus of predictions for everything I say today. Uh, we are particularly focused on infrastructure, so I'll give you kind of three predictions related to infrastructure as it pertains to AI. Uh, first and foremost, there's been a lot of discussion in the past about kind of consolidated AI and focusing on the training infrastructure. Not surprisingly, I think all of 2025 is going to get focused on the inference part of the AI infrastructure. How do you actually take models that are giant models that are trained on large amounts of data across the world and bring that to different points in the network, particularly the edges and the points of presence in the retail organizations or uh, in the cars in the case of autonomous driving. And how do you make those your micro data centers that are now capable of partially operating on their own for inferencing and results and then partially kind of going and consulting the mothership back for anything that needs to come from the giant models to those inferencing points. So this is my first prediction. My first prediction is you're gonna be saying inferencing a lot more than you're gonna be saying training in 2025. And you're gonna be looking at infrastructure that particularly supports that inferencing, which in our case is going to be a distributed networking architecture that enables inferencing. The second prediction I have is really that the network has got to be a lot more efficient than it ever has been in the past. And this efficiency, it can come by, for example, in terms of power consumption. So we've got a lot of uh, people predicting that we are going to run out of power because of the amount of power that is consumed by AI data centers. Uh, then there are other people that are talking about the cost of actual data transfer when it moves on um, hyperscaler clouds and data is actually moving from one point to the other. But I predict that in 2025, we're going to have people like our company, Arcus, that come up with methods, models, and ways to make the network smarter and more efficient so that it can have, let's say, channels on the network when you want to do this at low power. It can have different channels on the network when you want to do that at low cost and then start bringing these pieces together so that this whole architecture for distributed AI that I talked about in my first prediction becomes real and manageable at a cost point that now uh, appeals to all of the people that are going to be consuming AI. And then my third prediction is really about security. Uh, and so we have talked about AI in multiple different forms, but probably not a lot of attention has been given to what is the security requirement for infrastructure when it becomes the fabric for AI? And I believe that this is now going to become a part of the dialogue in 2025 where people are no longer going to first build data centers and then think about security or first build networks and then think about security. They're going to start asking the question of if I'm building an AI data center or an AI network, then any vendor that is providing me uh, the, uh, the uh, equipment, the gear, or the infrastructure needed for my AI, are they inherently secure? Has security been baked into the fabric as part of their thinking? And this is how we are evolving our software uh, at Arcus as an example, making security a first-class citizen as part of the routing and switching infrastructure that we think about day in and day out. So my third prediction is that you're gonna have a lot more security built into the infrastructure for AI as you get to the end of 2025.